Hello, everyone. That's Vincenzo Piccolo from University of Campania, Luigi Bambitelli. And today in this uh, brief video case discussion, I'm going to present you some uh, important information about the dermoscopy of uh, sumbungal exostosis. Uh, we did a paper a few years ago uh, investigating uh, the dermoscopic features of, the, of uh, sumbungal exostosis uh, in, uh, in 10 uh, patients. But let's start from uh, uh, defining subungual exostosis, uh, what is that? We can consider subungual exostosis like a, um, uh, a uh, benign proliferation of uh, osteochondral tissue starting from the last phalanx, uh, so from the bone uh, tissue, and uh, progressively during uh, its, uh, its growth, uh, subungual exostosis uh, uh, upwards nail plate uh, provoking uh, uh, pain. It usually affecting young patients. Uh, trauma is uh, often referred by the patients, and toenails, uh, in, in particular the first toenail, is commonly affected by the, this condition. Um, X-ray and histology are useful for the uh, confirmation. In particular, X-ray is very useful um, uh, detecting this uh, bone tissue proliferating uh, and uh, up, up, upwarding uh, from the, the, the last phalanx in this case uh, of, the, of the, first, uh, the first toe. In this paper, the retrospective study I presented you at the beginning, we uh, studied 10 patients with radiologically and histologically confirmed subungal uh, exostosis and the main dermoscopic features found in patients were vascular ectasia seen in 70% of patients, hyperkeratosis seen in 60%, onycholysis seen in 40% of patients, and uh, uh, in one third of patients we saw also ulceration. These are the patient features. As you can see, there is a very uh, variability in uh, age. Uh, we have children, uh, 60 year old, and we have elderly patient. Uh, the most important features emerging from this table is the late diagnosis. We have uh, about 15 months of delay between the appearance of the lesion and the diagnosis. As I told you before, the uh, subungual mass is the most common clinical presentation. Sometimes we can have a periungual nodule. Uh, dermoscopic features, the prevalent one is vascular ectasia, but we have also hyperkeratosis, uh, onycholysis, uh, and um, ulceration. Uh, as I told you before, once again, uh, uh, toenails are more affected than the fingernails. And history of tra trauma in our uh, patient was referred just into, uh, into patients. These are all the clinical and dermoscopic findings of, uh, uh, mos of uh, subungual exostosis. As you can see, uh, this, the, 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 the clinical presentation as a subungual mass uh, upwarding the nail plate is the most common uh, one. I want to give you uh, some information about differential diagnosis and how uh, dermoscopy and echoscopy can help us uh, to um, detect this uh, great imitator defined as subungual exostosis. So we have uh, two conditions. You will see uh, always a subungual exostosis compared with another disease. In this case, it's obvious that we have onycholysis in both patients. Let's see onycoscopy. We have onycholysis, but on the left, the yellowish aurora borealis like alteration of nail is uh, quite prevalent, uh, while here on the right, uh, we have a whitish color of the, um, of the nail associated with the subungual hemorrhage and subungual hyperkeratosis. On the left, we have a typical case of uh, onychomycosis, while on the right, we have the um, exostosis. Uh, the, when the, the mass is uh, periungual, like in this case, 
we can have another important differential diagnosis. It's quite obvious that the subungual exostosis in this case is once again on the right with vascular ectasia, hyperkeratosis, and uh, uh, subungual uh, um, and uh, onycholysis. While here on the right, we have this periungual fibromatous mass that corresponds to the so called Cannon tumor of tuberous sclerosis complex associated with other findings such as. As androfibroma or uh, uh, I don't know, ash leaf, uh, macules, uh, shagreen patch, and so on. Uh, another very important differential diagnosis is uh, um, uh, between uh, uh, subungual hyperkeratosis uh, of uh, subungual exostosis seen here on the right with vascular ectasia um, and uh, hyperkeratosis. And on the left, we have a squamous cell carcinoma characterized by these polymorphous uh, vessels and uh, ulceration. Uh, here we have two painful mass. Uh, upwarding the nail plate. Uh, let's have a look to uh, dermoscopy. On the left, the typical finding of subungual uh, exostosis. Now we have uh, learned uh, vascular ectasia um, is quite prevalent, while on the right, we have this erythronychia associated with uh, splinter hemorrhage that can be seen in uh, Glom's tumor. Um, two uh, small, uh, smaller uh, subungual mass, like in this case, so we have an, uh, subungual exostosis uh, on the right, characterized in this case just by onycholysis and hyperkeratosis, while on the left we have this uh, tubular hyperkeratosis that is quite typical of uh, onychomatricoma. Uh, the descri description of dermoscopic finding of onychomatricoma is quite present with this onycholysis associated with the uh, uh, tubular appearance of uh, subungual hyperkeratosis with these uh, holes seen on frontal onycoscopy. Um, another condition that should be differentiated uh, from uh, subungual uh, exostosis seen here, oh, once again on the right with vascular ectasia and uh, uh, subungual hyperkeratosis is the Bowen disease, in this case characterized by uh, periungual uh, hyperkeratosis with some uh, vessels and uh, a band of uh, melanonychia um, at the periphery of nail. Uh, uh, another condition is an infectious condition uh, that can, can be sometimes uh, 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 challenging. Um, such as tungiasis, characterized by, by this uh, black central pore, compared with uh, vascular ectasia and the subungual hyperkeratosis of uh, um, subungual exostosis. And finally, a, um, an emerging uh, uh, condition characterized by uh, onycholysis, subungual hyperkeratosis on the left, and also alteration of the hyponychium characterized by this uh, crusting uh, uh, yellow, black, crusting uh, seen in uh, onycholysis uh, induced by uh, acrylate reaction by uh, nail laker uh, and the involvement of uh, the old nails uh, and the acute appearance after removal of the nail laker is uh, uh, quite suggestive for the diagnosis. So, which are the take home messages finally? Uh, vascular ectasia, subungual hyperkeratosis, and onycholysis are the most common dermoscopic findings seen in uh, subungual exostosis. Uh, X ray and histology are important for the diagnosis. Uh, confirmation. And um, the last but not least, we should be very careful about differential diagnosis with neck cancer in, uh, in mostly uh, with squamous cell carcinoma and Bowen's disease. Thanks for listening and see you next time.